Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Tuesday, April the 5th, 2022, Acts, the 21st chapter, verses 28 through 40, and chapter 22. Acts 21 and 7 says, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, 28 verses, and it reads, Crying out, men of Israel, help. This is the man that teaches all men everywhere against the people and the law and this place. And further, brought Greeks also into the temple and had polluted this holy place. For they had seen before with him in the city Trophimus and Ephesian, whom they supposed that Paul had brought into the temple. And all the city was moved. And the people ran together, and they took Paul and drew him out of the temple, and forthwith the doors were shut. And as they went about to kill him, tidings came unto the chief captain of the band, that all Jerusalem was in an uproar, who immediately took soldiers and centurions and ran down unto them. And when they saw the chief captain and the soldiers, they left beating of Paul. Then the chief captain came near and took him and commanded him to be bound with two chains and demanded who he was and what he had done. And some cried one thing and some another among the multitude. And when he could not know the certainty for the tumult, he commanded him to be carried into the castle. And when he came upon the stairs, so it was that he was born of the soldiers for the violence of the people. For the multitude of the people followed after him, crying, Away with him! And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, Canst thou speak Greek? Art not thou that Egyptian which before these days made us an uproar and lead us out into the wilderness? Four thousand men that were murderers? But Paul said, I am a man, which am a Jew, of Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city. And I beseech thee, suffer me to speak unto the people. And when he had given him license, Paul stood on the stairs and beckoned with the hand unto the people. And when there was made a, gr a great silence, he spake unto them in the Hebrew tongue, saying, chapter 22, Men, brethren, and fathers, hear ye my defense, which I make now unto you. And when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue to them, they kept the more silence, and he saith, I am verily a man which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in the Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers, and was zealous towards God, as ye all are this day. And I persecuted this way unto the death, binding and delivering into prison both men and women. And also the high priest doth bear me witness, and all the estate of the elders, from whom also I received letters unto the brethren, and went to Damascus to bring them which were bound unto Jerusalem to be punished. And it came to pass that as I made my journey and was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me. And I fell unto the ground, and I heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise and go into Damascus, and there it shall be told thee of all the things which are appointed for thee to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light being led by the hand of them that were with me, 
I came into Damascus. And one Ananias, a devout man, according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwelt there, came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And the same hour I looked up upon him, and he said, The God of our fathers hath chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, and see that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. For thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. And now why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. And it came to pass that when I was come again to Jerusalem, even while I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance and saw him saying unto me, Make haste and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. And I said, Lord, they know that I am in prison and beat in every synagogue them that believe on thee. And when the blood of the martyr Stephen was shed, I also was standing by and consenting unto his death and kept the raiment of them that slew him. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. And they gave him audience unto this word, and then lift up their voices and said, Away with such a fellow from the earth, for it is not fit that he should live. And as they cried out and cast off their clothes and threw dust in the air, the chief captain commanded him to be brought into the castle and begged that he should be examined by scourging, that he might know wherefore they cried so against him. And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and uncondemned? And when the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, art thou a Roman? He said, Yea. And the chief captain answered, With a great sum, of, a, with a great sum obtained I this freedom. And Paul said, huh, But I was free born. Then straightway they departed from him which should have examined him. And the chief captain also was afraid after he knew that he was a Roman and because he had bound him. And on the morrow, because he would have known the certainty wherefore he was accused of the Jews, he loosed him from his bands and commanded the chief priests and all that were counsel. And all that loosed him from his bands and commanded the chief priests and all their counsel to appear and brought Paul down and set him before them. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, me, the reader, for this exciting, exciting and precious word of God. Paul just kind of gave his testimony to them. Not only was he a Jew, he was a Roman. See, God worked that thing for Paul. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued donation and support of $20 to paypal.me paypal .me forward slash Pamela Dobson dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We are back live Monday through Friday reading across all of these various social media platforms. Freeze the screen and you can see what they all are. Any one of these you can go to. If one is down, then go to another and one of the others should be up. Always on YouTube and Facebook under the name, there it is, Pamela Dobson. I should always be on YouTube or Facebook if these others I am not. We broadcast 7 p.m. Monday through Friday Pacific Standard Time live. Praise God. If you're wondering who Smurf is, what is this? Well, this is Smurf International Ministry for we do minister all over the world. With a seven-minute read family, seven-minute read follow, just seven-minute read faithful folk. I am Minister Mama Pam, and any donation that the Lord lays upon your heart to give unto me, feel free. Freely you give and freely you receive. Any, anything you want to give, you send give to dollar sign Mama Pam 23, paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, Zell, Pamela Dobson 0723. That's where you can send that seven million dollar check. <laughs> Broadcast Monday through Friday, again, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until the next read, God bless.